All right, all right, guys. What's up? It's your boy, the Coin King, back again with another video. Um, today is a very important day uh, that I want to talk about. Uh, but before I get started, I want to make sure that everybody uh, like my videos and hit that subscribe button uh, to support the Coin King channel. And uh, for for some reason, I don't know what the hell's going on, but I used to I, I was very consistent in making videos and I've been getting a lot of subscribers just by every day and a lot of views and all of a sudden it's just starting to slow down right now and the only thing I can think of is either number one I'm not making enough content or number two Google is bullying me YouTube is bullying me I know that's what it is because for some reason they're not getting my video to be seen or whatever it is because it's crypto related because it's very unusual that I don't get subscriber every single day. Every I've been making like four or five videos before, like maybe once a week. But for some reason, Google is probably bullying me and using all these keywords and stuff that probably when I say crypto related. Um, they probably blocking my video or not being seen. That's why people are subscribing it and all that. But you know what? Screw you, Google. We don't care. Okay, we're in a blockchain space. Something going to eventually going to take over and then destroy y'all, and you are no longer going to be in the business because in a decentralized world, everything's going to be built on you know what, Zelica, okay, or Polkadot. Ethereum and all that. Okay, so if you want to keep doing that, your YouTube, uh, Google, whatever the hell it is, screw y'all. I don't care. I don't make money from this shit anyway. But anyway, that's another story. Okay, I want to make the reason I'm making a video today was is an important milestone in Zelica. Um, but before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at the crypto market right quick before we roll into that. Right quick, um, you looking at uh, coin market cap right now? with the market cap of 1.9 trillion dollar which is insane amount okay people think like oh my the market market's down we're in a bear market and all that crap okay that's not true we are in an okay market right now i don't think we're in a bull or bear market we're just in a slow market right now right but i mean if a year ago it was you know what does it mean like close to a trillion at all and now we're at 1.9 trillion and counting still so you definitely don't want to be like have a negative attitude. But I know a lot of people creating, you know, reading a lot of FUD news and all that stuff about the market going to crash and everything. But you know what? As I always say, I always ignore all noises and just stay focused on what I'm trying to accomplish. All right. So, but 1.9 trillion is nothing to sneeze at. Okay. Um, people are saying, oh my God, it's going to crash. No one knows. No one knows. I said that many times in my other videos. No one knows if the market is going to crash, if the market is going to go up or down. What? No one knows. Okay. And you can't even try to go into history. Like, oh my God, in 2017, 2018, you can't even, there, you, there's no comparison really if you think about it, right? Because back then there was no use case. Now, all this exciting innovation happening in the crypto market, right? You got from uh, DeFi, you got NFT. Now Metaverse is about to start running, and you know we are approaching the gaming, like Game Fives coming out. So so many exciting things. Um, you know, I think the market is going to continue growing, growing, and you're going to see some retracing. Um, and you know, you shouldn't be paranoid. Or I'm not paranoid at all whatsoever. Okay, I personally, I don't care. I don't. I know our noises and I look at the innovation and what the hell what's going on what's happening and I'm super excited about what's going on in the crypto market and uh, you know no one can scare me basically I live in the crypto market all right I live in the crypto market guys okay so anyway 1.9 trillion is nothing to sneeze at if you look at the market right now bitcoins at back at 43.6 and then ethereum at 2900 close to 3000 and then uh, cardano $2.11 Binance chain or coin at 385 XRP 94 cents, Solana about 139. I'm gonna ignore these uh, stable coin. I don't care about that. But polka dot 28 dollars, which is uh, polka dot is very undervalued. I said that many times on my Twitter page. Um, and also the fact that uh, Dogecoin is um, Dogecoin 20 cents. Okay, well anyway, I'm not gonna keep going that because this is not what this video is about. I'm just gonna scroll through so y'all can see this for yourself, or I can look back in time, maybe a year from now, and say, hey, Julian did this video with the Coin King, this video. And then he basically just looking at the uh, we were number 27, uh, you know, V chain nonsense. On well, a year from now, we'll be a dollar Tezo. Oh, I love Tezo. I tell you that I've been talking about Tezo. Uh, I've been bad mouthing Tezo for so long, but I think the full potential Tezo is about to come around. So anyway, guys, okay. The first, I mean, what I really want to talk about in this video is about the the Zelica and the Zell Bridge, okay? And I want to discuss as far as you know what. 
uh, what I think is going to happen, um, you know, as far as like, okay, first of all, I see a lot of people on Twitter already complaining, bitching about it already. Oh my God, why is it not running? Why is this and that? There's so many negative people, okay? Zell Bridge is happening. You go to zellstream.com here, which is, in other words, very, very fantastic site by whoever designed this guy. I think he's on Twitter somewhere, but my apology if I didn't know, know your name directly, but this is a fantastic uh, website that you have made is very useful for the community and everyone to use zellstream.com and you go put slash bridge you see how many how many amount of asset or money is pouring into uh to zillago through this bridge i mean you look like when the less than a day is already 1.1 million dollars so i mean this is just, just the party just getting started uh, so that's why people should not be freaking out, paranoid about uh, Zelica prices and all that stuff. I've been with Zelica since it was point zero zero twenty five. All right, guys, for twenty five dollars, I could have got ten thousand dollars, which I did. Ten thousand Zelica for twenty five bucks. And now it ran up all the way to twenty five cents. Now back to eight cents for Zelica. Okay, and you could, should definitely not, you know, be complaining or bitching about you know Zelica why it's not running uh to me I, I still think that Zelica gonna go to one to two dollars this this particular run uh it might trace down to maybe to finally a dollar and then like the next few years is gonna run two to five dollars I didn't say exactly when I said next few years okay that's the keywords all right guys oh you know what I forgot to fully disclose in my video uh the beginning I'm not your financial advisor. Do your own research and due diligence before you invest in any project, including Zelica or any coins or cryptos or anything like that. I should have said it in front of my videos. I should have said that. But okay, I said it now. So you can, you know, you can't say I didn't. I didn't say I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> All right. So anyway, guys, back to Zelica. Zelica Bridge It's very, very important because now assets well, from Ethereum is coming over to Zelica. You can do all kinds of cool stuff here in the Zelica network. And you can transfer over to, you know, to Ethereum, all this asset from Zelle to Ethereum and back and forth. But nobody want to pay Ethereum gas fee. With all due respect to is uh, Ethereum, which is a fantastic blockchain. I don't think that's the, the father of all the blockchain Zelica. I mean, uh, Ethereum, sorry. But, um, you know, with all due, due respect to uh, uh, Ethereum, um, you know, this is a good look for, you know, both sides as well, too. You know what I mean? So, because you remember... Vitalik Buterin actually praises Zelica, right? In, the, in a, like, I think a year or so, he even tweeted about it. So, you know, be sure, uh, you know, to, you know, like I said, respect Ethereum, guys. Respect Ethereum. I hate when people talk bad about Ethereum. I don't know why, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Collaboration is, is the key to adoption, right? So let's focus on that. So anyway, um, I, like I said, I would say have patience and wait for more and more great things happening at Zelica. Uh, hopefully more and more a application, more user coming into Zelica. Uh, you know, 1.1 million. Uh, let me see. I if I refresh this, was 105, 105, 268. Oh, I thought I might see. All right. So anyway, I'll check back tomorrow. 1.1 million is a lot in, in less than a day. So anyway, um, I, I'm hoping I'm going to go on the Zelica website. And of course, here's Zelbridge is now live on the main net. It's my first time actually looking at this today. So I think art is used for information about what you can do um, on here. I think you can, you know, provide liquidity uh, using the bridge. Um, so I have to read this over to get a better understanding of how to do this. I'm not going to jump in there and just do shit, okay? That's that's how, that's not how I roll. I have to know what the hell I'm doing. Even though I think this is a, it sounds like a, well, a fantastic thing here. If you do, you probably get like some crazy APY here, like rewards and stuff, the incentive they're giving you. Uh, so incentive to move asset from Ethereum to Zelica and then to Zell Swap. Look at this APY. This is insane. Somebody gonna be doing this. Should I do this? I might do it. I don't know. I have to read up more on this. So anyway, um, you know, I wanted to just make a quick video just praising uh, Zelica and the team and um, Switchio along with Poly Network for you know this great work that they done to bridge uh, Zelica and Ethereum together. So um, that's really what this video is about, guys. I want y'all to, uh, you know, keep, you know, keep staying positive. If you're a long-term Zelico believer, you know, don't, uh, you know, you know, just just, just have patience. Um, one thing I actually do want to talk about is I wish this website would be better. I think many people already said this already. This is kind of like a little bit off <laughs> of this video, but um, 
we need more video. I mean, more, uh, more, actually, more. I guess make the website all look that bad. Still need to be revamp a little bit better, I guess. So anyway, but we, we're not in a website business, all right. So that's one thing. That's one thing about Zillica.com website. We're not in a website business. We're in a blockchain business. So we got to keep that in mind. So hopefully, um, more and more stuff will be coming Zelico's way and then you know we will uh, grow together and um, be super successful with Zelica. I think it's a fantastic brand. Uh, I've been with them for a few years now and I'm still here and I'm not going anywhere. All right guys so anyway um, again congratulations to Zelica um, and my next video um, hopefully you know I will talk about some other stuff like uh, probably want to talk about some few other project upcoming projects. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys can, if you're able to, because, you know, I'm kind of disappointed that, that uh, you know, I didn't get that many subscribers as I was expected when I made the last two to three videos. But I'm blaming, like I said, I'm blaming Google for this. Google did this shit to me. Screw you, Google. Greedy bastard. All right, guys, until next time. Until next time, all right? Peace.